we're going to show y'all how to um, create a nice uh, breast cancer awareness shirt today. So let's get right into it. I'm going straight to Google. Let's type in um, breast cancer. Boom. Images. And once I um, select images, I, I need to type in breast cancer logo. Now, once I type in logo, I always go to tools, size, large. Boom. So now we're going to come down here and try to find a good one. So everything that you need to make a nice uh, breast cancer awareness shirt is on here. You just got to put it together. So let's go and get us a ribbon. Say we get this one. Now I'm working off a Mac, so I use the uh, drag and drop. I just drag it right to the PS and let it go with the left click, and it brings it right in. If you're working on a PC, you could just save it and then import it. So boom. Got our logo. I'm going to turn it. Hit the check button. Place it wherever I want it. Go back to Google. Type in um, breast cancer design. Everything is free. Sometimes you ain't got to go to Etsy and buy nothing. I'll make this a real short and brief video. And hopefully you guys get to recreate it and get to make it some money. So we're going to type in breast cancer girl. Click on cartoon. So now we got some little icons. So say we get her. We get her right here. You bring that in. Drag and drop or save it to your desktop and then import it in. Now we got her. Boom. Stretch it. I use the move tool right here. And I always stretch from the middle. Or I stretch from the corner. So guess what? Let's just play it off these two little layers right here. So we got the girl. Stretch up. I'm going to come over here. Right click. And duplicate this layer. Hit OK. So now I got two girls over here. Anytime you turn one of these eyeballs off, it turns off that layer. So you come right here to where it says layer two, double left click, and you can name this ribbon. Enter, come up here, girl one. Enter, come up here, double left click, girl two. So now when you got a whole bunch of layers, you know it each one is. So now we're going to turn on girl two. We're going to bring her up to the top and then we're going to push one. The number one. One, that stands for 10%. Two stands for 20%. And as you go all the way up to zero, that's 100%. So we're going to keep this at three. We're going to push three and that's 30%. Then we're going to bring the old girl back. So now you see that the girl number one is under two. You just come over here and hold down left click and drag it on top. Now she's on top. Now click back on the first, the big one, stretch it all the way out huge. So let's just move it around so we find something dope. So no, I like it right there. So now I'm going to come to this girl one, as you can see, double left click. We're going to go add a stroke. So I want to add a white stroke, change your white. So whenever you want to change the color of a stroke, you come right here. And the stroke is nothing but an outline. So you double left click right here. And it's going to bring this up, which is your color. So you can click on that and change any color you want to. And if you can't find the color that you're looking for, you can come over and bring that same mouse over here to a color. And it will sample any color that you put it on. So we're going to go with white. Now I want to make the size bigger. So now you see you can make the stroke big as you want. Boom. Now, let's type in grunge. 
We'll get y'all together real quick. Grunge. PNG. So grunge shape, I'm sorry. Grunge shape. Images, tools, and the size large. Boom. Try to find a dope one. And a killer, you could type in a grunge. Let's type in grunge. Uh, Let me go back. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I'm getting off track. So we're going to find the grunge first. Boom. We're going to grab this one. We drag this one over. Boom. Okay. We bring this in and bring it onto this layer. Guess what? We got black grunge. You can make a whole shirt off just a couple layers with the grunge. Look at this. Guess what? We're going to duplicate this one. This is the last one we just put on here. So we're going to duplicate this one. So to duplicate it, you come to the layer, right click, duplicate layer, enter. So now we're going to bring this one down. And then we're going to come back to this one we just brought down. Come over here where nothing's at, double left click. We're going to do a color overlay. A color overlay means you change whatever layer you're working on to a solid color. Click on this gray, let's sample this pink. Boom, so now one of them grunges is pink. You can take this same one and duplicate it all over the shirt. So now we're going back to our ribbon that we got originally. Turn that on. Shrink it down. I'm going to add to this, I'm going to add an outer glow. Come to ribbon. Come over here, double left click, outer glow. And now you play with the opacity, the spread, and the size to get it where you want it. Now we're gonna go back to Google. We're gonna type in breast cancer survivor. Go to images. Because they people make a lot of uh, logos and stuff already for this, so you just get a survivor one. You are gonna add this to the artwork to make it even sweeter. It's just all about grabbing the right pieces to make something beautiful. So let's type in logo. And you always want to find images that's not distorted or stuff like that. You want some nice, clean, because the cleaner they is, the cleaner they come out. Let's go here. So this week right here, we're about to change the whole dynamic. Nope, I found something else. Hold on. Boom. We're going to come here. We're going to grab this. Let it go. Bring this over. Like I said, everything free on Google. Take that. And when it's all majority white, what I like to do is use my magic eraser. And that's the one, two, three, four down. You click on that. Click on all the white. It's gonna get rid of everything. As soon as you push delete, now I need to go inside the R, delete, go inside this R, delete, and then I'm gonna come over here to my um 
rectangular marquee tool, I use this as a crop tool. So I got that selected. I just drag it out. And let's get rid of them. So now that I got, I'm going to go back to my move tool, which is going to put a box around the, the, the layer that I'm working on. Also, make sure these two are checked. When you turn these off, it don't let you know what layer you're working on. So as you see, it's gone. So when you're clicking on different layers, the, the mouse not going anywhere. But when you turn the show transfer controls on and auto select, if you click on anything, it's going to select that layer that you're working on. So you can know where you want to go and what you want to work on. So I now I click on Survivor. It's going to take me there. Now I'm going to double left click. We're going to add an outer glow to this. I'm going to make it even wider. Now it's popping and it's glowing. So now this got the ribbon in it. We really don't need the ribbon no more unless you want to add one right here. And then we're going to duplicate this one and add it on the other sleeve. And that's just a quick, a quick way to do a little breast cancer shirt. Fast, simple. All we used was a logo, a logo, something that somebody already made for us, and a couple grunges in the background. We duplicated her and made, we pushed one, two, three. We made that at 30%. If you go back in the video and watch, and look how fast we did a nice, clean survivor shirt. Easy.